Well, you know, I was uh, born in Virginia, right there in South Norfolk. Spent most of my younger years there up till I was about 48 years old. But all my summers were spent in North Carolina, down on the Outer Banks and around Atlantic, Memorial City, Beaufort, Ocracoke, the Corsan. That's where all my family was from. And I spent most of my summers down there visiting with my uncle, my aunts, my cousins. Just a wonderful place. In fact, my cousin still lives there to Atlantic. She uh, had, they had a little house there, didn't even have any indoor plumbing. We had an outhouse in the back I had to go to. It was right beside the big old chicken coop where they had a bunch of chickens and walked out behind the house down into the course sound and dug clams with my toes, hop in the skip, go across course sound over to Core Banks over there, Portsmouth Island. My uncle was a shrimper. He used to carry me on week long trips there from his home there in Atlantic. Like the first time I ever went to Ocracoke was on my uncle's shrimp boat. There's a little store there called Winston Hills Grocery. Go up there and get popsicles and candy bars. The store was still there not too long ago, but as you can see, it's in bad shape. And when I was down there all those summers as a preteen and as a teenager, I, uh, I picked up on that accent right much that they have down there. You folks from down that way know what I'm talking about. Uh, the rest of you probably don't, but you've heard it. Now I'm going to give you all six words that you probably never even heard. Um, some of you may have, but I even doubt that unless you were born and raised down that way or spent a lot of time down there. The first word is ding batter. And the next word is mama. And then pizer. And slick cam. And whopper jawed. And the last word my aunt used all the time was drawing. Drawing. You don't know what that means, do you? Well, you're about to find out. He said, come on, let's get going. It's hoi toy on the sand soil. Last night at the waterfall, night moonshine, no fish. Where you put my Uncle Wood? He said, get her going. What is it? It's hot, hot, it's What is a ding batter? <laughs> You're really not a bad person. It's just an outsider that comes in and ask and ask you where the lighthouse is or when he's standing right in front of it or ask <laughs> point out over the Panama Coast sign and say, is this the Atlantic Ocean? <laughs> what time did the four o'clock ferry leave? <laughs> That's a core sound word. I think. That's what James Barry yeah, says. Uh, I basically got uh, cedar rollers on that way, kind of. There are ding batters and then there are ding batters. Yes, there's real ones. And then, and then there there's are ones blank, that you blank just, ding you know. Batters. Yeah. This is a ding batter. He married a down east a down woman. Down east woman. He married a down east woman. He's from Kenosha, Wisconsin. Wisconsin. Now this is what we consider a ding batter, yeah. a damn ding batter. I've been here before he was born. It doesn't matter. Ever since I can remember, somebody not from here was called a ding batter, or a dit dot, or a woodser. People not from here was called woodsers too. And I asked, uh, I asked Daddy one time. I remember when I was young. I said, Daddy, what is Charlie call that crowd woodsers? That was his daddy. He said, well, that's somebody from inland, not from the, not from the, you know, the, the, the banks and around the water. And that's why the old folks used to call them woodsers. You get out here and they work you too hard, any kind of thing like that. Been mom to death over my whole life. I use it all the time. I guess we should be very proud of it. 
It's nothing to, it's what you're born with. And you take it with you all your life. That's just about as bad as it can get to be mama. It's just about as bad as it can get. It means to shred or tear apart, to, to just, no other word for you except mama. You've been mama, you know, I mean, you've been shrimping all night, you're tired, you're wet, you're hungry, you have, you've just been shredded to pieces all night. You have been mama. <laughs>Drawing was was cuss word, y'all right, when we were growing up. It, nobody else used it but just the people here. And I don't think to this day anybody's ever known what it meant. Yeah, yeah, it's but like I... Saying, like I think I know, know but, uh, but I'll tell you this, I had an eighth grade uh, English teacher that if she caught you saying it, oh, yeah, it she'd make you write it a thousand times, but yet you didn't know how to spell it. But drawing was like, um, like, uh, well, I know what drawing is when I say it. <laughs> but let me see if I can explain it to you. Drawing would be like, it's not real, or you're not telling the truth, or, you know, they stretch it and you'll go dry. Somebody would be sitting there and start talking, telling a tale or something, and they didn't believe it or something. They said, drawing, that ain't right. There ain't no way that that's right. The drawing. It's, it's like you're, you're calling somebody's bluff, you know, drawing, I know you're not. Yeah, I've heard that said many times, drawing. <laughs> I don't even think that's in the English language. Drawing. I tied brave. And I said, you know, it's where we live. It's, it's called the high tide bro. High tiders, yeah, I forgot about that one. <laughs> Well, the way this thing was all cut up, I guess you could say it's whopper jawed. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. I think you had 95 new members here for this, uh, this short period of time. Thanks for watching.